this is something that, you know, from our perspective would never have made it out of the sewers area, mm. um, but you're learning. What's up guys, this is Nick at Stridewise.com. I'm here in Pastores, Guatemala with Adelante Shoe Company. This is Mike, the co-founder and CEO. How's it going? I'm doing great, man. Cool. Living the dream. What Mike is doing here, Mike is a very detail-oriented gentleman and uh, I've spent the last five days straight make my own boots. So there are two boots here. One was made by a craftsman here as he was showing me what to do as I made it. The other was made entirely by me. And Mike is going to tell me all the reasons why my boot would not pass the quality control inspection at Atalante. This is the desk where the uh, quality control happens. But honestly, I would challenge Mike to even to even figure out which one is my that boot. One. Okay. Tell us why, in your made-up mind, <laughs> what what is wrong with this boot? What what are the things I did wrong as I made this boot? Yeah. So when we're looking over a boot, we kind of start top to bottom. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the stitching. Um, when you look at the stitching, we're looking for clean, even lines. If there are, you know, duplicate stitches or double stitching, we look for spacing and, you know, making sure that those are parallel. Um, this looks a little bit like, um, I don't know, you drink a lot too much caffeine. Um, very wobbly, very zigzaggy, kind of jumping up and down. Um, so that would be the first thing that would stand out. This is something that, you know, from our perspective, would never have made it out of the sewers area. Um, but you're learning. And it was my like, first time ever using a sewing machine, to be fair, which I probably shouldn't be proud of because, you know, boys should know how to do things like that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the, the stitches, they run over each other in a couple of... There were three stitches on top of each other, uh, not on top of each other, but like next to each other. Yeah. Which I wasn't... I was thinking maybe I would have to do two and then I had to do three. But for my, my first time using it, I was, I was pretty happy with it. But uh, okay, all right. Not bad, not bad. The stitching, it would never have made it past the stitching stage, which was uh, pretty much my first stage. <laughs> what, what else do you think? Yeah, so kind of building off of that, we then look at the seams. We want to see, make sure there's not like overruns of glue and, and stuff like that. So you can see on these seams that we have some glue that's sticking out along the edges and whatever else. Some of that stuff you can clean up after the fact. Some of it, uh, you can't. Yeah, there was way more glue involved in making a pair of boots than I thought. Like, there's so much stitching involved in boots, you would think it's like just stitches and nails and old-fashioned stuff like that, but yeah. like, everything you said stitched uh, typically is glued first, exactly. and uh, my glue oozed. <laughs> it did. It there, certainly did. There was oozage on my boots. Yeah. Alright, And, uh, let's see. Next, I'd probably look at the hardware. So, this is gonna be the hooks and, and eyelets. Um, so I can see here, I've got some glue running through one of the eyelets. I Honestly, don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> we've got a few broken ones here, so that indicates that there was a little bit too much pressure going on. But overall, I would say like spacing and placement was more or less correct. Um, the the hooks aren't too off kiltered or off angled. So it's just the stitching and the glue and the eyelets and nothing else, right? Like I said, we move top to bottom. Okay. So uh, let's move down onto the sole. Um, so the first thing I would I would you know hold up for comparison here and uh, would be the difference in in the finishing here. So, be a little tough to tell on camera, but these are these are kind of evenly spaced together. Uh, this is Nick's book boot here, and this is our boot here. Uh, you can see there's about a centimeter worth of difference in terms of the width of the shoe. Um, that's just tied to the actual finishing process, um, what we call pulido, which is a when you sand down the sole. Um, and building off of that, you can see right here, got a few nicks along the edges. Yeah, I, I remember this part well. Uh, I was with Gustavo, the finishing, uh, the, the guy who was helping with the finishing, the gentleman, and he couldn't stop laughing when he looked at what I had done. Now, it was my first time using a sanding machine. He begged me to let him do it. I said, no, I think I've got it. I really, when I handed it to him, I was very, very confident, and then he just couldn't stop laughing and held him up and showed me that my heel is like, considerably bigger on, on one boot than the other. Yeah. Mostly because I was afraid of getting the sanding machine too close to leather and nicking it. Sure. Uh, I did that anyway. Building off of that, I would say the angle of the heel. Um, yours kind of slopes a little bit more outwards. We want more of a vertical cut. Yeah, mine's like a ski slope, especially on this end. So it's asymmetrical as well, so that's a problem. Yeah. But this is like a nice diagonal line here. It's like 45 degrees or something. What it's supposed to be is like a straight up, like, you know, perp perpendicular 90 degree one, like yeah. that. Yeah. 
a, a logger heel, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made myself a logger heel. <laughs> Not the design, but good enough. Yeah. Um, kind of adding to that, you know, you can see on the on the upper here, um, you hand welted this, this boot, which was obviously a bit of a process. Um, but as you were passing the needle through, you can see some nicks and, and cuts coming through the leather. Um, that's something that we obviously want to avoid. Um, but, you know, credit to you. You sat there for few hours uh putting in the in the man hours to uh yeah. to assemble that they love scars <laughs> love scars yeah exactly. <laughs> it adds character yes <laughs> and then you know once you're you're done sanding down the the heel and everything we finish by hand um so you can see here on the heel um and at a few different junctions here you know where you came in with a knife um trying to to cut that down a little bit didn't hit it as hard in the in the sanding process to get that nice and smooth and even um so it's a little lumpy yeah, you'd think looking at like this finished product here that like this was like done with like a giant like circular cutting machine or something. Yeah. But there's actually like a massive amount of labor with like five or so different tools, including a piece of broken glass, to get it as smooth as possible. Mine looks kind of uh, hexagonal, uh, almost or octagonal, <laughs> but it's very <laughs> angular as you go around it. As yes. I would like touch it to the sanding machine and then like wince and do this as I was doing it. <laughs> um, and then of course with the knife coming around it. Uh, Gustavo was able to just go right around like that, mm -hmm. uh, and I was just kind of doing like this. I was afraid <laughs> of like cutting my own throat with a knife, to be fair, but that's not a, a concern that anyone else has here because they're actual craftsmen. <laughs> and then, let's see, you know, you can see here on the heel some of these darker portions. This is where you put too much pressure on the sander, so it actually burned the, the soling leather a little bit. Um, <laughs> here, here. I did not notice that. Here, here, here. here. Uh -huh. We'll stop there. Um, <laughs> Um, and then, you know, what I would add to that, a couple, couple other points. Um, when you kind of trim down this top line edge, um, this is something that's really, really finite, you know, with the tip of the blade, you really want to trim slowly and carefully, um, take down that edge so it's nice and smooth and even. Uh, you can see there's, you know, kind of ridges bumping up here and along the, uh, yeah. the entire edge of it. It, it wiggles, like, it a, wiggles. like a snail, yeah. 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 Um, and then the one thing that just jumped out at me can see right there you got a nail coming through the heel <laughs> one of so. my nails is jutting up onto the uh, onto the heel there yeah right about there <laughs> so that one that one definitely wouldn't uh, wouldn't make it through quality control i'm just like hoping that gustavo did something similar but he didn't damn him <laughs> um, and then what i'd call out you know again moving from top to bottom as we look at the sole, Nick's worn these around a little bit, so they've got a little bit of wear, so he's kind of hidden some of his uh, Yeah, this is part of my strategy. <laughs> um, but at the bottom, if you look closely, you can see there are some actual hammer marks from where he uh, gave it a little too much force. You were a little too motivated behind it. Yeah, there's a lot more hammering involved than one would think uh, in the creation of, a, of this <laughs> boot. And this one's just perfectly smooth, God knows how, but... Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, they looked like they were hammering it exactly like I was, but no, mine is covered with, uh, <laughs> Hammer with, marks. Yeah, yeah. With more love scars. <laughs> and then the finishing touch, of course, the brand at the bottom. Uh, you can see a slight difference here. Um, this one looks like it was done with finger paint, and this one with <laughs> precision. I held it, I held the brand down for too long. I didn't know that was going to be a component in it, uh, as well. Oh, and there's also some glue here as well. Also that, also that. Okay. We could stare at these all day and find other things. Alright, uh, so A- minus on my boot. I would say for your first pair of boots, having not worked with any of the machinery, I give you an A minus. All right, not cool. Not bad at all. Okay. Not bad at it all. It would have gone in the trash, I think, no less than eight times during the <laughs> creation of it. But I'm going to wear them with pride anyway, as you should. All right. Well, thank you for your time. It was soul crushing, but uh, educational nonetheless. Absolutely. All right, Mike. Thank Good you job. very much. Uh, and if you just got here, subscribe because there's lots of fun soul crushing boot adventures coming up on the channel. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>